Hey, how's it going YouTube? I'm Landon and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. This is a brand new video for you guys. So the invention of the microwave might be one of the most amazing things to have ever happened in our lifetime. Other than us making this channel, right? I mean, you can make popcorn, pizza pockets, and cake all in the microwave. What an invention. What more could you want? However, as handy as the microwaves can be, it can't handle everything. It for sure can't handle me being in there. So let's take a look at the top 10 things you should never put in the microwave and hopefully I'm not encouraging you guys to look at this list and throw these 10 objects or items into the microwave. Please don't do it. So it's time to get out your fire extinguishers and get ready in at number 10 because we're cooking paper bags. I know what you guys are thinking. But Landon, I make popcorn in my microwave and it's perfectly safe. Well, not all paper bags have the same properties as like the popcorn bags. Popcorn bags have subceptors, which is a material that is made to consume the radio waves that are produced by the microwave. Typical paper bags, on the other hand, can release toxins and fumes and this is when they're warmed up and because microwaves produce heat very quickly the bag can actually catch on fire burning its way at number nine is the Chinese takeout boxes typically Chinese takeout boxes have a thin metal handle which doesn't do well in the microwave when it is heated the wiring it can actually spark or flame up so you're better off putting the leftovers into the microwave in a microwavable safe plate because you don't always want to waste an order of that delicious delicious sweet and sour chicken balls. You don't want things to just blow up in there. Coming in at number eight, we have breast milk. Microwaving frozen breast milk, it will cause it to warm up unevenly, which could burn the inside of the baby's sensitive mouth. Other research has found that microwaving breast milk might destroy some of the breast milk's immune boosting proteins, especially if it's heated up. Heating things up at number seven with plastic containers. Now, I know for a lot of you, this might come as a shock. Most of us store leftovers in plastic containers, even though it is proven it may not be best for our health. Many plastics contain estrogen chemicals such as BPA that can leak into our foods when the plastic is heated. So in order to be safe, you should actually warm up your leftovers directly onto a plate. Styrofoam makes its way onto this list at number six. It's no secret that styrofoam is associated with having negative effects on your health. Styrofoam is a type of plastic that releases harmful chemicals onto your food when it is heated. It's actually really surprising that many restaurants still give us the leftovers in this like styrofoam containers, even though they're, they could be bad for us. I don't know about you, but I used to put styrofoam in the microwave all the time, but it's just because it's convenience and I don't know, I don't really see it doing much, but I don't put it in there for long. But I'm definitely gonna pour out my leftovers onto a plate after I warm it up after. Things get dangerous and at number five with aluminum foil. Unless you wanna send some sparks flying in your microwave, do not put aluminum foil in there. A microwave's interior is actually made up of metal that reflects radio waves that emit electromagnetic energy. This energy is responsible for warming up your food. If you were to place foil inside of your microwave, the wave could be reflected off of the foil causing it to burn rapidly and ignite. So basically placing aluminum foil in your microwave can be very harmful and also very dangerous. Travel mug slides its way onto this list at number four. Although it might seem like a good idea or a convenient way to warm up your coffee in the morning, it's not. These types of mugs are typically made out of metal and the lining in the mug will prevent heat from warming up the liquid inside and it can also damage your microwave. If it is heated up long enough, the metal will eventually catch fire, which will destroy your prized travel mugs and of course your microwave. Clothing makes its way onto this list at number three. Okay, don't look at me like that. A lot of people out there think it's a good idea to put their socks or shirt into a microwave so that it can either dry or warm it up on like a cold day. I've personally never thought of doing this, but I can see why people might, you know, have come up with this. Well, I have news for you. There's an invention called the dryer and it's a lot safer for you. Microwaving your clothes could cause a fire since there's no water for the appliance to pull energy from. So please do not microwave your clothes in the future. Just put your socks in the friggin' dryer. Exploding its way to number two is hard boiled egg. Now this is a weird one. There's so many recipes all over Pinterest on how to hard boil an egg in your microwave. Well, I'm here to warn you to not do it. Unless you really want to clean up an exploded egg. This, this this is like almost like a prank. You think I'm lying? Watch this. Oh! Yeah, well you guys just watched that. So trying to cook an egg at such a high temperature would create a large amount of steam to form within its shell, which leads it to like a very big explosion. 
Finally, in at number one spot is hot peppers. Yes, this is also a thing that a lot of people on the internet like to do. A lot of people on the internet like to do a lot of stupidness. Using a microwave to heat up your hot peppers is actually not a very bright idea. Not only they can possibly spark and cause a fire, but when you open the microwave, chemicals are released from the pepper that might cause you to choke or even burn your eyes. Think of it this way. Microwaving your hot peppers is like creating a pepper spray in your microwave and you're just gonna open up your microwave and you're gonna be pepper sprayed. Not fun at all. Well, there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys all in the next one.